L'interlude to round number two is the story of uh, a woman in Mississippi who's been a juror on a death penalty case back in 1994. She, Lindy, sentenced a man to death and she's been struggling with his decision ever since. So today in the film, we follow Lindy uh, through Mississippi, meeting with her 11 fellow jurors as she tries to find out how this verdict affected them. Yeah, hello, uh, I'm Florent Vasseur. I'm the director of Lindy Lou, juror number two. So I met Lindy Lou in 2010. That was the very first time uh, she told her story to someone outside a you know, circle of friends and family. She couldn't understand why she couldn't let go of the story. At one stage she even told me, I must be crazy, it's been more than 20 years and I still can't get over it. And so that's when I asked her, I asked her, but what about the other jurors? Did you, how did they feel? And so that's how the idea of the journey emerged. Um, I don't want to take you off guard or anything, but this is Lindy Wells, and I served on a jury with you several years back. Do you remember Bobby Wilter's trial? You know, I'd like to sit down and talk with you. It's, would it be a convenient time for you, for us to get together, or would you be willing to sit down? First and foremost, to me, I think Lindy wanted to break this sense of isolation. Go find people who had been through the same thing as what she had been through. I mean, you know, you, you hear it every day. If you sit down and watch the news and the fellas at work or, you know, they say, oh, I give him the death penalty, you know? It's easy, to, they say. Don't, it's easy right. to say, but right. to live through it. Right, it, it's easy to say, you know? So, I mean, you, you have to deal with it every day after you've done it. It's not something you talk about all the time. It's not... I couldn't talk about it. And it's it's like you couldn't make it, you. no, and you couldn't make anybody understand. But it's not something you'll ever forget, is, is it? Mm -hmm. it's, it's not for me to say if Lydia has found closure. This, this idea of closure is, is, feels strange for me. She needs, she feels, it's like moving on. I'm, I don't know if it's closure that she, that she needs. Um, I think what she's, been, what she's needed for all those years was also the ability to speak and to speak out. Because she has kept so much for herself for for so long. Oh, yeah.